Hello ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Time for another Metal Earth kit. Another Marvel kit. I've done Iron Man. It's time to do War Machine. Now Iron Man was a complicated kit. It also turned out to be a larger and detailed kit. It was wonderful. It's for, or it says on the package for advanced users. And somewhere I read that there were three sheets. When in reality it was two full sheets, two half sheets, and a small little silver edition. I don't know if War Machine is going to be like that. I wonder, is it going to be as big or is it going to be smaller? It feels heavier as if it might be more ships or sheets. But there's only one way to find out. Let's crack it open and see what's inside. War Machine. Instructions. And metal sheets. Oh, oh my. It does actually have three metal sheets. We have two pieces of paper for the instructions. So here we've got page one. We've got a little drawing of the figure. We have a bit about the insertion tabs and holes. And we have a bit about the needle nose pliers. And then this key, which is usually over here, is down here. Basically the blue dots, when you see those in the directions, mean to fold the tab over 90 degrees. The triangle means to twist and there's a bit more information right here. And then here you have one of the metal sheets. This is this particular metal sheet and they're all numbered. And I'm guessing we have to go to page two for the other. Yes. And here at the top of page two are the other two sheets. And if you look, I'm just gonna bring this one up. This is the sheet, this is the layout that basically numbers all the parts so you know where to find what. And there are a lot of parts that are shaded different colors. The parts that are shaded different colors, typically they're the same. Like here, we've got two different purple parts. One of them appears to be number 60. The other one does not have a number. They're both parts 60. They're duplicate, they're the same, they'll be used in two different places. Same with these two. Below that, on page two, we have the assembly flowchart. And just you start with part one and kind of follow the arrows. The parts mostly go in numbers until you reach the second of one of these duplicate parts and the number will jump back. And you just go along following the arrows. Page three, four, and you can see here the little blue circles and green triangles or areas where you either twist or bend the tabs. Page four. Our next sheet, we open it up to page five and page six, page seven, and page eight. So this is a, another very detailed kit. Lots of little parts. I'm not sure if it's going to stand as tall as Iron Man, I'm kind of thinking not. We'll find out. Now what am I going to use to build this kit? I don't recommend doing these kits by hand. I've heard of it being done. I can't imagine how. But at least start with some tweezers. Tweezers will, will get you far. They'll help you do a lot of things. Some kits can be done entirely with tweezers. I did the Millennium Falcon that way. But I highly recommend getting some more tools, especially as complex as this kit is going to be. I have a Fascinations tool set that I've picked up that come in quite handy. The clippers are great for getting the parts off of the metal sheets without bending and warping them. The long nose pliers have lots of uses in bending things over, as well as the flat nose pliers. Other common tools that I use, I have these ring pliers or round nose pliers that are very handy for making certain shapes and curves on the kits. I have a pick that I can use to reach in and pull out tabs that are bent in too far or make little shapes or bends that I can't get my fingers or other tools into. I have these locking clamps or Kelly clamps. They've got several names but you can put a part in there and lock them and hold on to stuff. It's come in very handy with with smaller items that are too big or too small for my fingers to put into place. I have an array of dowel rods for rounding parts. I have step mandrels that are also 
good. I have marbles and beads for making circular shapes. And I even have an inexpensive drill bit set that can come in handy for making the round circular or cone shaped. A couple of the dowel rods have the end sharpened. And these are all different things that I use depending on what shape I need to make. I have my tools, my instructions, my metal sheets. Let's put this thing together. I carefully curved one flap of piece one with a drill bit. Part 4 is very small and does not have the usual creases where you are to bend it at. This makes it just a touch tougher to bend it properly and sharp enough for the tabs to line up. Part 3 I had to bend the tabs inward to the point where I had to squeeze the part into place on either side of part 5. I originally twisted the tabs to hold the part, shaped it a bit more, then untwisted and bent the tabs over. I decided to just bend the tabs over rather than risking damage trying to twist in such a small area. There was really no way I saw to be able to twist these tabs, so I bent them over. I took a break and picked up a bag of assorted beads to add to my toolkit. I found one near perfect for shaping the shoulder pieces. The shoulder pieces take a lot of small adjustments and bends to get them into shape. She 
You will need to make two shoulder joints, so just repeat the last few steps a second time. The second arm is assembled pretty much just the same as the first. The instructions would have you twist the tab that hold the fist on, but I opted to bend them over because there was so little room to work with my tweezers. I neglected to curve part 21 before attaching it.
Sometimes I twist tabs that are supposed to be bent over when I'm having trouble holding the part in place. Once I get more tabs secure, I come back, untwist the tab, and bend it over. I often use the pliers to pinch and secure bent over tabs. I didn't follow the directions exactly here. Perhaps I was a little overconfident. Mainly, instead of waiting to bend the center part down last and pushing the tabs in from the top, I bent the center part along with and had the tabs sticking out from the top. Quit some years ago Now you're smoking on the porch Your friends are all now But that's okay, of course You stay out every night But you don't tell me what you do Say that you're fine, then I believe you. Nothing sounds good to you when it's time for food. You come back from the Like I thought you would You smile when we're out That's not what you want to do The head has to be squeezed on over the connecting tabs. It's not easy to do considering you can accidentally bend the tabs down causing more problems. I used a pick to stretch out one side over the tabs. Hold my hand at the store But you don't touch me at home And when the night comes I'm all alone You lock the bedroom door I sleep in the living Tell me that you love me Then I believe you I had a difficult time getting to and securing the tabs that hold the arms on, especially the second arm. Just torn 
for the first shoulder cover, I twisted one tab and bent over the other. The connections under the arms were a huge pain. It was difficult to get in there and connect the tabs and bend them over. It was hard to line up the tabs and slots and seemingly impossible to push the tabs through and hold them to bend and twist them in an area where there is little room. I was ultimately able to bend the tabs over and secure them. I took a break and forgot to turn the camera back on right away. I missed attaching part 40. It is just a mirror of part 41. 41 was more difficult to squeeze in under the arm though. I did not even bother with securing the upper tab. When the tabs and slots are this close to a bin, it can help to bend the tabs a little to the inside of the bin. It will help the side with the slots to swing in place. On part 44, I bent the two tabs on one side at an angle to help the part slide into place. I also opened up the assembly of other parts a little on one side. I might be kind, but babe, is it hard? Tomorrow I leave to go fix my heart. One little slice, tubes through an artery. Take some away But baby what's left for me You can come in The doors are all closed The silence is echoing back We'll sneak you out Before they wake up Before anyone sees Hand me the keys you think I won't do this But baby, you don't know me You can hide here Someone's at the door I twisted one of the tabs that holds part 48 on but decided to bend the other tab because it is so close to another slot. I did not want the tab to get in the way later. Baby, he's gone. How long were you in there? But if you really love me, you won't care, you won't care, you won't care, you won't care, you won't care. Cause you 
can come out It's safe in my arms and it's too cold to go home right now The directions say to twist the tabs that hold the shoulder gun on I do not know what tools they use to do so, but nothing I have can really get into that tiny spot where the tabs stick out. I use my X-Acto blade, pocket knife, and pick to bend the tabs over. I don't generally like to do this, but because of the length of this build, I have split this video into two parts. Keep an eye out for part two of Metal Earth War Machine.